Let's start with breathing exercises. Breathe in and out. Let's repeat this again. Breathe again. Guess what? You're alive. You have a purpose. I know you may not see it because you keep looking at others who seem to be successful. Don't use other people's success to define your calling or purpose. There is something great inside of you. You are going to impact the world. Don't worry about how. God will lead you. He will use your gifts. Repeat these meditations throughout the day today. I am strong and healthy. I choose carefully what thoughts goes into my mind. I release the need to dwell on bad feelings. This too shall pass. One task at a time is enough. I draw on the support that surrounds me, in whatever form. Peace and joy are filling my life. I am doing the best I can. I release the need for perfection. I choose to be calm and centered, regardless of the situation. I exude strength, grace and flexibility. Today I allow time for self-care and rejuvenation. I have faith that this will all work out. I am living in grace. The right decisions are coming to me easily now. I don't worry about other people's acceptance or opinions. Today I choose joy. I choose to think positive thoughts. I am strong, capable, and resilient. I am far stronger than I realize. I am capable of handling anything that comes my way. I am resilient. Nothing can shake me. I release worst case scenario thinking. I free myself from fear of the unknown. I am kind and compassionate toward myself when I make a mistake. Mistakes do not equal failure. Mistakes do not define me. I am allowed the grace of imperfection. I choose to view adversity as an opportunity for growth. I have the power to make profound positive changes. I rise in the face of new challenges. When I'm feeling overwhelmed, I allow myself to step back and breathe. Breathe in and out, breathe in and out again. Do you feel that peace? You are healed from every worry. God is in control. You are not sick because of a lack of effort or a failure at adjusting faulty thoughts. You are appreciated even when you can't contribute much. You are needed even though you feel worthless. You are separate from your depression. You aren't any less of a person because certain people can't understand your illness. You have persevered and persevered and should celebrate your tenacity. You are strong in your weakness. You are much more than your opinions of yourself. Your brain is your friend, despite what you hear. Your discomfort won't last forever. You are resilient. Give yourself time and patience to do the heal. Identify which positive words that will help you. Write on cue cards. Record and play back to yourself. Write in your journal. Have a support person repeatedly say to you. Breathe in. 